let's see if this is work, going to work now. Select there. You have to be careful here. There's a little white cursor head after the black one. It's quite hard to see actually. Otherwise you can spend hours messing about with this and not get anywhere. Do it again. Alright, that's all three done. Background, I want a slightly darker colour for the 3D effect. The white one I want for text. And this front one I want for a light grey effect. So it looks as if it's a little bit dirty. You'll see why a bit later. Now we do the text. It, this text is a logo uh, that I used to use in the 90s in the City of London uh, as a letterhead label and a business card and it worked. So here we go. When it was done originally by a printer I thought it was really quite good. That was what 20 odd years ago now before I'd heard of uh, Photoshop and stuff like that it'd be interesting to see if this sounds working I'm making it large so it's easy to see okay once it's finished you can shrink it down fed up with these tutorials that show you things and you can't see anything unless you're about 25 years of age and been in using Apple and Adobe products for donkey's years and you know where everything is still a proof is in the pudding as they say or proof is in the eating of the pudding now we come to a bit of interesting bit Now this is the interesting bit, you see that minus stroke there, if you don't have that in, the 3D shadow or drop down shadow will be to the right side of the uh, print or the text, whereas when it's got a minus sign, it's on the left hand side, bear that in mind, because it's got to match up with the main background shadow. This is the first time I've ever used this tool, the scissor tool. Again, you've got to be precise. When it goes green, the print, you know you've got a straight line. Well, you've got a line anyway. Made a surface, as you can see. I don't really understand why, but as you pull it down, it levels itself out, which I find quite annoying, but we'll get there anyway where it's blacked out on the end we've got to put a little uh, eclipse in there 
just to finish it off really but this whole idea of doing this was an exercise uh, that I'm doing night school to learn how to use Illustrator and this is one of the exercises so I did an old that I know and worked um, logo